Oh, hey guys, you're watching Downski, the place of course to be to develop your creative skills. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to create some crazy, creative, quite honestly, unpredictable patterns all in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe Illustrator and to start with, I've created a new artboard, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And I'm gonna go over to the layers panel over here on the right, if you don't see this for any reason, just go up to window and down to layers. There we go. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I have my layer one by default and next to it, I have this little circle icon here. If I click this, what this enables me to do is apply some effects, but rather than apply those effects to a specific object, I can apply them to this layer. So next, let's go up to effect, down to distort and transform and select transform. And you'll see this lovely window pops up. Let's check preview, even though there's nothing to preview because we haven't created anything. I'm gonna start by selecting the angle and we'll set this to 350 for now, but don't worry, you can change all of these options from the appearance panel or the property inspector later on. And let's check reflect X and reflect Y and I'll throw in 20 as the number of copies, but again, we can change this. Click okay and as you can see, nothing has happened. However, and this is where the fun starts, if I select, let's just say the brush tool, and I'll just go down, just set my fill to none. So we have a black stroke. You can, of course, change the color as you like. What I'm going to do is just draw a straight line. And you can see that you get all kinds of absolutely bonkers patterns. Oh, that was quite, a, that was a nice one. Look at that. And I'm just simply drawing straight lines. It's incredibly unpredictable as to what you're gonna get. That's pretty cool, okay. Let's grab, well we've got the shape tools here, ellipse tool, we'll try this, we'll draw a circle. And now if you get this and it doesn't really do anything, sometimes it will, you can see, sometimes it won't. If you do ever get an instance where it doesn't do anything, just go back to the property inspector and you've got transform down here. And if you're on an older version of Illustrator, just go to window, down to appearance, and you'll see that panel pop up. Let's just pop that up there. In fact, you can even dock this if you'd like it to sit there as well. So it depends how you like to work, but you can see it's listed here and we can select it and delete it if we want, or we can click on it and go back and edit it. And if we check preview, we can adjust some of the move sliders and you can see the pattern changes in real time. It just depends sometimes where you create the specific shape as to whether it works or whether it actually looks good. So uh, feel free to experiment for sure. But there we go, we've got a nice spirograph effect, similar to what we created the other day in a previous tutorial. This is just another way to do that. We could even use the pen tool. And we can see this bizarre pattern come together right before us. <laughs> so if you're looking for something very linear like this, then that's one way to do it. So to be honest, if I just delete this, essentially anything that we now create that is on this layer is going to have that distort transform effect applied to it. So go crazy, have fun, and just create something awesome. And there we go, hope you enjoyed that. That was how to create some crazy, unpredictable patterns all in Illustrator. If you've got any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.